One of the most common questions our clients ask us about using Xero is can they customise their own invoices to have it looking like they uh, would like. Now, I suppose in one of the questions, um, considerations you need to think about um, doing your own invoices is whether they're going to be printed on your letterhead or whether you're going to use um, Xero to customise the letter, to customise the invoice. One of the issues in thinking about that is if you're going to use your own letterhead, if you try and PDF create them as PDF files directly from Xero, which is one, and em email them, it won't necessarily have your letterhead details on it. But let's just look at the standard ways we can edit the standard uh, invoice template. So if we just go, the, they've got one here in the demo company, um, it's just got a little logo here, so we can edit it. Um, we can change the paper size depending where we're at. We can keep most of this the same. You may want to change some of these details. So you might have overdue tax invoice. You might change to overdue tax invoice, credit note statement. So we want to say the tax number, it, depending on what type of um, business you're in, you may want to show the column headings, the unit price and quantity. Um, there might be a payment advice slip for people that they can tear off if they like. Um, the tax column and show the logo. So in part of this we want to show that there is a, you, you want to put your company name and address. So we'll put that in there with uh, PO box. Um, and you may want to put a, a contact name, a phone number in there. And we may, um, in this instance, um, you can also have, use uh, uh, use PayPal to collect your, your invoice. It's just a matter of putting your PayPal Um, email address in there and it will d directly c connect to things and we can also put in the terms of advice so you might put in here um, payment within seven days so we can we can change a fair bit around in relation to the to the invoice um, we'll just save that for the moment And we could also change the logo so we could browse for another file. You just have to remember it's 400 by 120 pixels um, and it needs to be as a JPEG, a GIF or a PNG file. There's a couple of different um, things you can use. You can use something as simple as Microsoft Paint um, to create, to, to resize that um, pixel down. You can use products like Picnic, which is now in uh, Google+. And just to see how that actually looks, let's go to Invoicing, Accounts Receivable, and we'll look at Waiting Payment, and we'll just call up one of these invoices here. And we'll just leave it as it is, we'll print the PDF. And that will just actually, rather than print it, it actually just saves it as a PDF file. And so we can see how it looks. It's called overdue tax invoice. Um, there's a description, quantity, unit price, GST, the total. Um, it's also showing the total GST there. Um, it's also got an option for pay online now, so it links to PayPal address. Um, there's a remittance slip with your uh, company details there. And so we can change this part of it round. There's other parts that we may want to change around. So for all intents and purposes, it's quite good for just a basic invoice.